Independents are likely to be enormously important this year. Um, I think independents are often very important when you've got two unpopular leaders. Um, but this year particularly so, because so much of the, the moderate faction of the Liberal Party was wiped out at the last election. And arguably the centrist independents, what have been called the teal independents or the voices for movements, um, are a rebirth of the moderate faction of the Liberal Party. Uh, so it'll be so they will be fighting very hard for a share of the coalition vote, and uh, and I think they're likely to play a very big role. Uh, we see that we have strong independent candidates running in seats like in in coalition seats like Wentworth in New South Wales and North Sydney and McKellar, and also in Victoria in seats like Goldstein and in Kuyong where the treasurer is the incumbent member, and places like Higgins. In Western Australia, we've got a seat like Curtin, which is a traditional Liberal-held seat, formerly held by Julie Bishop. That, it, that is now being challenged by a strong independent. So if, for example, say two or three of these independents get up and add themselves to the crossbench, and if neither of the major parties win a majority of seats, then those independent, that independent crossbench becomes the, the arbiters of who forms government.